What's up guys? Um It's been a while and uh I've been missing in action but I'm back and I just want to let you guys know that uh I'm going to try to stick to this faithfully, do what I can to uh continue to minister the word of God to you all. And uh, I got some stuff I want to talk to you about. Um, I'm not going to be very long, so just be patient with me. Um, but don't go anywhere. What's up, guys? Listen, before we get started... Let's pray. Let us pray. Let us come together and pray and just ask for the presence of God to be with us. Father, we come to you today, this hour, this part of the day, whatever part of the week, whatever part of the month, whatever year this person here sees this. God, I pray that your presence, I pray that your glory may fill their hearts, that you move in them in such a powerful way. God, wherever they may be in their life today, I pray that you speak to them and that you minister to them. Touch their hearts. God, revive whatever's dying inside of them. Whatever is left that is in their heart to want to serve you, to want to obey you, to want to submit to your authority, I pray that you revive it today. Give them the strength Give them the courage. Give them the confidence that they need today to stand upon your word and your promises. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. So we're still here, still in the same house. Uh, we're still believing for great things. We're believing God to continue to open doors for us. Uh, along with that, we are believing uh, God for miracles in your life and your family's life. Um, we know that things right now everywhere in the world are not good. But with God, we can do all things. Amen. God gives us the ability to stand above and beyond what we face in life. God is bigger and greater than anything you and I will ever face. And we need to believe that as the body of Christ today. And, um, you know, that's what I want to talk to you about today is where we stand and where we are and who we are as, as followers of Christ, as his children, as his bride. You know, there are many uh, fellow believers around the world that have become faint-hearted and become weak and weary and doing good they've they've slowed down their their pace has slowed down and things have taken place you know churches throughout the united states have closed once upon a time and there could have been a lot of people that were gun ho that were on fire for god and something happened you know other things kind of jumped at them and maybe they took on and and got uh serious with that and it and it kind of took over what god wanted to do in their lives and many were deceived uh for believing the truth many have been hurt because maybe leaders didn't reach out to people and pastors didn't make their phone calls and and call out to people and so we face difficulties and they're all emotional these things that we face today but we're better than that and the devil tries to lie to us because it's in those moments in that moment that you're in right now that he could be lying to you because you're emotionally drained and tired and weak and stressed out and you just can't, you, you know, you just don't want to deal with it. So whatever news 
whatever it is that you are hearing about what's happening in your life, you're probably just going to accept it because you're just too tired and too frustrated to believe anything else. And if it's something that God wants you to do, you know, I'm just too tired to do that. I don't want to do that right now. I, I, I'm not, I'm not in the mood. I'm, I'm just not there. That's not where I'm at. But we, we got to wake up. We got to wake up and we got to stand and we got to make our stand and we need to represent because the Lord told us that this was going to happen in the last days. And what's exciting about what's happening today is that he said, in the last days, I will pour my spirit out upon all flesh. I don't know about you, but I I need an outpouring of God's spirit in my life. I need him to wash me from the top of my head all the way down to the soles of my feet. And God, I don't want you to stop. Just let it rain in my life. From everything that I'm involved with, everything that has gone wrong, everything that has gone right, let your spirit be poured out on every inch of my life. And if that is you, if you believe that that's what you need right now, then you need to claim it and receive it and say, God, you know what? I need to make this stand. You've called me. You've chosen me. You've appointed me. You have uh, uh, anointed me and saturated me and called me for such a time as this. You're just not no ordinary Christian. The devil isn't lying to you and attacking you because you read your Bible. No, there's something inside of us. There's something powerful that's inside of us that the devil sees and he knows. This person's a threat to me. This person is a threat to my kingdom and we need to keep them submitted and we need to keep them suppressed and we need to keep them where they are and we need to keep lying to them. Don't let this one get away from us. And that's where he has you. And that's where he puts people and that's where he keeps them right where they are. And he keep he makes them feel like they can't go on. But then all of a sudden, you feel that fresh wind You get that deja vu, that that reminder. You get that wake up call. You come to your senses as the prodigal son did. And you realize who you are in Christ. Who God has called you to be today. God has given you your marching orders. He's giving you your assignment. You got the blueprint in your pocket. And he is ready to send you. He's ready to move in your life. All you have to do is say, yes, God, I will go. I will come under your authority. I will submit to the Holy Spirit. I will obey and be submissive and be obedient to the call that you have given in my life. And this is what he wants in this hour that we face and these difficulties that we're in. And it's going to get rough. I'm not going to lie. This is nothing compared to what's coming. But you need to hold strong to your faith. And you need to believe and trust in him no matter how difficult it gets. Even if you have to come back and replay this video over and over again. And if you know someone who's struggling and who's having a difficult time, send them this video to remind them. This is a a reminder 
to let you know that God called you and he chose you as weak and as messed up and as weak as you were, as devastated and as broken as you were, he called you back then. He knew you were going to fall to the wayside. He knew you were going to make your mistakes. He knew you were going to fall short. He knew you were going to feel this way. He knew it. But now he's telling you to get up. It's time, beloved, that you get on your knees and say, God, even if you could only do this for the time being, God, I need your strength. I need your power. I need your light in my life. I wanted to come on here to encourage you and to let you know, this is why I'm making this video because this is where God wants me right now. And I need to do this and I need to stand and I need to believe and I need to trust him. He didn't bring me all this way to fail. He didn't bring you all this way to fail. Father, I pray for my brother and my sister. Provide the strength that they need today. Hold fast to them, that they may hold fast to their faith and their trust in you. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. God bless you, beloved. Have a beautiful day and stand upon His promises.